patients, I realized that uh, you know their depression, their anxiety, their resentment, their anger, their frustration with their lives, the way their lives were going, that a lot of it had to do with self-sabotage. A lot of it had to do with people getting in their own way. Now we do it all the time. I mean, we know that there are things we need to do that are in our best interest. A lot of times people know they need to diet and lose weight. They know they need to uh, exercise. They know they uh, should you know, not watch so much TV. Uh, they, they need to be more productive, maybe read more. Maybe they got a project they want to do that they talking about doing forever and they don't do it and then they're frustrated then they're unhappy you know or and you know and then they're depressed and they're anxious and angry and and uh, and I realized that when I started to help them to uh, overcome their self sabotage behaviors then everything else got better uh, depression gets less anxiety gets less anger and resentment everything gets better so it came down to well how did I do that how did I help people eliminate self-sabotaging behaviors. And uh, you gotta get to the root of it. And I discovered that the cause, the root cause of self-sabotage is basically deeply embedded guilt, shame, and self-loathing at an unconscious level. Now a lot of people think, say to themselves, self-loathing, that's really a harsh word. You know, I, I, I don't feel that way about myself. But the fact is that, or my fact is, my belief is that if you don't have the life that you want, uh, then uh, you're doing something uh, that's causing that. And it's not, uh, it's not really bad luck. And it's not really uh, your karma, it's you. You're doing something that's getting in your way. And, uh, and why would you do that? Why would anybody do things to get in their own way? That, that's like attacking yourself. It can only be because you don't like yourself. Uh, so if you're getting in your way, you're holding yourself back, you're doing things that are sabotaging the things that you say you want to do and accomplish, then basically you are attacking yourself, you're punishing yourself, you're keeping yourself back. It can only be that you don't like yourself. It can only be that on some level you don't think you're worthy enough. You don't think you deserve happiness or love or success or a career or money. You must believe that you on some level are bad, are undeserving, deserve to be punished and, uh, and not get reward in happiness and success. And so uh, if that's where I come down to the idea of, okay, so it's got to be at some deep unconscious level, you don't like yourself. Uh, at a deep unconscious level, there's guilt and shame and self-loathing. And now here's how it works. Whatever the subconscious mind will do whatever uh, it thinks we believe about ourselves. Right? So if we believe at a core level that we are unworthy, or unlovable, or undeserving, our subconscious mind is going to follow suit. It's going to manifest in the world, it's gonna make that happen for us. So if it thinks that we believe we deserve to be punished and withhold a happiness and success from us, it will do that. It will whisper in our ear, it's not gonna work out, don't bother. You know, or nothing's ever gonna work out. Or they don't really like you. Or it's not that great of an idea. Or you know, or but sooner or later it's gonna fail, so why bother, just keep doing what you're doing, and forget about it. Uh, the, the inner critic that just keeps on telling us to give up, or don't bother, uh, it's much more fun to sit back and watch TV and eat the popcorn. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. It's over and over again, you are, are going, the subconscious mind is going to cause you to not get what you want. But it's not just causing you to self-sabotage and, uh, and procrastinate and put off things you wanna do. The subconscious mind will also affect what you are attracted to or what is attracted to you. This ties into the idea of the law of attraction. The idea that uh, the subconscious mind will, based upon how, what vibe, what energy on an unconscious level you're putting out there, it will draw that to you. So again, if you believe that you're not worthy or good enough, the subconscious mind is going to uh, draw you to toxic people, places, and circumstances. And it's going to situations where uh, you are going to get into trouble, where accidents will happen, where you uh, may be victimized. Okay, so, uh, and the contrary is, if, the, uh, if you believe that you're good enough, if you've forgiven yourself, if you esteem yourself and love yourself and value yourself and feel you're worthy of, of reward and success, the subconscious mind stops whispering in your ear to give up and don't bother.